Here you see Captain Pike, who's a very experienced target trained snake, very fluently start to exit his enclosure, and he has exited his enclosure and targeted onto lots of different stations. Now you see that he stops all of a sudden, and he's not responding to me prompting him with the target. He's more focused on the scale. He's tongue flicking at the scale, and he's really fixated on the surface of the scale. Well, look at that antecedent arrangement versus this one. This is from over a year ago, and he very confidently and fluently exits his enclosure and shifts out onto the station during this session. There's some really, really noticeable differences here that are important for me to keep in mind when I'm training the snakes. Look at the things that he has set up in his environment in this training situation versus the training situation that I just showed. Here, he's got a platform that has various textures, various contrasting colors. It has a perch. And this situation has none of those things. It's an all white, smooth metal scale with no contrasting textures, no contrasting colors. There is nothing for him to climb onto. There's nothing for him to grip his scales onto. There is nothing for him to coil, wrap, or anchor around. And so this environment was not a comfortable environment for him. It was not in line with his natural history. And it's why I got a lot of hesitation during this session. And it's why I have subsequently added something to the scale that the snakes are able to grip onto, see contrasting colors on, where there's contrasting textures, where there's things for them to climb and anchor and wrap around. So in this session, I had to modify my criteria. As soon as he gave me an effort and he hovered about halfway over the scale, I went ahead and reinforced him for that behavior because at least this is getting him comfortable with the presence of the scale and he isn't going to view it as anything frightening or aversive. However, I need to do a better job at setting up the environment so the scale is something that's easy and attractive for him to climb out onto. Antecedent arrangement is simply making sure the environment is set up ahead of time so that the snake is physically capable of doing the behavior that you want and that the behavior you're asking them to do is in line with their natural history. So if the snake is a climber, are you setting up the environment so that they have things to climb in, on, or around? If your snake is terrestrial or a burrower, are you setting up the environment so that they have something similar to the ground that they can climb out onto or something that they can burrow in? If you don't set up the environment so that it is in line with your snake or other animals, natural biology and natural history, and it isn't set up so that they are capable of performing species typical behaviors in that environment, the behavior you're asking them to do is going to be much less likely to occur. That's because it won't be meaningful or relevant to them and the way that they normally live and function or because they will be unable to physically complete the task if the environment is not set up correctly. <laughs>